the final kilometre of the UAE Tour in March, the race for one rider was only just beginning. As he peeled off from his effort for Caleb Ewan's third place sprint, little did Roger Kluger know what a whirlwind the next 24 hours would be. Yeah, that's a story probably once in a lifetime. My travel from UAE to the, to the Worlds and Proskov, Poland. And in the end, that worked perfect out. So I had a good UAE, had a good finish in the UAE. Um, a good night, uh, a good, good flight that wasn't time. So another two hours of sleep during the flight and then arrived roughly three hours before the, before the start at the airport. Half an hour later in the hotel, had some lunch, uh, just some food. Um, warm up starts one hour before the race and then I was on the track. Didn't have a feeling still that we were able to, be, to win it, but as soon the race started and my partner Theo and me, we were in the race, uh, in a good, good move always and in front of the race. Well, my partner didn't done the right move. After 30, 40 laps, follow Polish guys, I think, and from there on we were in front of the race more or less and could control it and brought it home, actually, again. It was a oh, special, pretty special day. After a remarkable journey, Kluger and his partner Theo Reinhardt even had time to savor the final laps of their successful Madison World Title defense. The 33-year-old's track skill set had always suited sprint finishes on the road. Then in the 2016 Giro d'Italia, Kluger displayed a show of strength that has since defined him. Capitalizing on the chaos and confusion caused by a late charge from Pipo Pozzato, Kluger bridged over and surged to victory. The timing couldn't have been better either, as Orica Scott would soon offer him a two-year deal. Especially after the Giro stage win in 2016, uh, I showed uh, what I can do in the last kilometer, and uh, that's why they, they took me, they chose me, and uh, I could show it a few more in a few more other races as well. That, um, that it was a good choice to take me. He was to have a special assignment at Orica Scott. With prodigious talent Caleb Ewan now ready to take the next step as a top-level sprinter, the team needed a lead-out man. From the very first day on, when I joined Orica uh, in the Tour Down Under 2017, uh, we started with a win in, uh, in the People's Choice Classics. And um, yeah, had, had quite a few more victories. With a solid record when racing together, it's clear that the partnership has worked, developing from strength to strength. In 2017 alone, they took 10 victories together. And away from the road, they've managed to form a friendship too. Caleb's, um, Caleb's personality is um, outside the race, totally different to, to in the race. In the race, of course, he, he has to be aggressive as a sprinter, super focused, concentrated uh, for the finals. But uh, after the race, he's pretty quiet and calm. If he, if he didn't win, he doesn't scream or whatever, he, he, he take it like this and uh, he's already probably in his head for the next race. And then also in the room, he's quite quiet and uh, relaxed, laid back like the Australians are. Um, that's why he's, he's easy to handle for, for everybody, I would say. After a hard 2018, Ewan would seek a fresh start at Lotto Sudal. And naturally, Kluger would be the first to get the call. How I came to Lotto was Pretty simple, Caleb was asking me. Um, can't remember exactly the date, but let's say it wasn't summer or just uh, starting of the summer, if I would follow him. And uh, I knew or heard he would leave. And uh, when, he, when he asked me if I would follow, it didn't take long for me to decide yes or no. I was happy to be Mitchell in Orica the two years, um, but also I know um, they wouldn't have a role for me if Caleb leaves. I was happy that, ask, that he asked me and uh, yeah, I followed him. As with any lead-out man, Kluger sacrifices his own chances to help his teammate. But with the Madison returning to the Olympics in 2020, a support role on the road suits his plans perfectly. I'm happy with that, with that role. Um, I had a few chances in the beginning of my career to be a sprinter myself, but I actually am really, really happy to be second last man or the third last man um, into the work before and then got out of all, all the stress and uh, he has to win and I'm happy if he wins, of course. Of course, there are still goals in, in the career and uh, now after two times world champion, we have a big goal, of course. We are aiming for Tokyo uh, for another medal, for gold, for sure. And uh, we hope we, we can take a medal there as well.